Well, there are many uh, strategic gender issues. I think we have done enough in terms of uh, understanding gender roles and gender relations and quantifying the roles of men and women in rice production. We have looked or examined the consequences of male migration and livelihood and productivity and gender roles. But now we have to examine also what are the effects of the broader changes that are happening, particularly in climate. How do women adapt or how, what are their roles in mitigating this uh, abiotic or changes in climate change? So we are now embarking in a new study in Eastern India, in Bihar, Northeast uh, India, and also in Orissa, and maybe in Rajasthan, under the IFAD facility grant. We would like to examine the, the effects of climate change, not on the productivity, but also on the strategies that men and women do in response to this changing climate. For example, in many parts in eastern India, which suffer from abiotic stress, for example, drought, uh, submergence, and these are exacerbated by climate change, and women are, the, are those who suffer most because of these consequences of uh, severe uh, drought or submergence or floods in Bangladesh, and for example. Now, what do women do to adapt? For example, men, women, men live. They, may, may, they migrate, and the women are left behind. So migration is, again, a strategy in response to this uh, climatic change. But then what do women do in terms of uh, crop productivity? Now, after rice, they grow different crops, which are uh, resistant to drought. This, they, use, they grow secondary crops. They call secondary crops like millets and uh, other crops. But these crops are also used as fodder for the animals because livestock is a very important or integral component of the farming systems. And in India and in South Asia, women are mainly responsible for taking care of dairy animals. So if there is drought, they have to walk uh, long, for long distances just to carry you know, or get the fodder for the animals. So in terms of technologies, there are many crop and livestock uh, technologies which can benefit women. So we need to understand what are the constraints that they face, what are their strategies to adapt uh, to climate change, and what, in what ways they can contribute to mitigate these stresses. There are many options, there are many technologies, but the problem is they do not have access to this information and technologies. So in our study, we will first do the research and then the second year, we will do the participatory action research in order to address the constraints that women face. So we, we don't stop. We don't just say who does what, who has access to and control. We go beyond that and do, we do something to improve the welfare of the family because if we help women, we help the entire family members and we help the entire nation.